jump final. Final of the men's long jump. And that is the lineup. Who are you looking out for here, Jay? Yeah, so, you know, first of all, I have to say it's a very big field. They they would usually only want about 12 if it's a straight final, but as you see, 15. So it's going to be quite a long competition, um, trying to whittle those guys down to, to eight jumpers. Um, so after three jumps, there'll be, uh, I think the next, the eight will get another two jumps, and then I think the top four will get the last jump. So. It's kind of changed a little bit, but it's, it's good. And here you see them coming out through the fireworks. Hopefully the long, men's long jump will be showing lots and lots of fireworks once it gets underway. Well, they're getting the pyrotechnic treatment. They're getting the big welcome into this arena. Yuska of the Czech Republic. Jumping at four, the 2018 Asian champion for China, Here is Xi uh, Yu Hao. Yu Hao. Yu Hao. Yu Hao. Jumping at five, the national record holder from Bermuda, Tyrone Smith. Uh, the Bermudan, Tyrone Smith. Tiny island in the North Atlantic, they'll be cheering him on. Jumping at six, the world bronze medalist from South Africa, There's Ruswal Samai. Samai. Jumping at seven, four times the national champion. Now the Jamaican Jamaica, national Forbes. champion, Damar Forbes, who's jumped 8.07. The 2008 World One of five men to have done over eight metres this season. There's Lassa of Uruguay. Now the 2008 World Indoor Champion from yeah. South Africa. Here is Mokwena. Won the 2008 title. Next world indoor 32 years of age China, now. Changzhou. Changzhou of China. Yet to break the eight meter mark this year. Jumping Has done 821. I've seen Masso perform at uh, youth level. He's highly Jumping impressive. Portland was Marquis Dendy's moment in 2016. Jumping at the American is back. Echeverria of Cuba. Jumping at 14, the national champion and of the year. Here USA, is Jaren Lawson. Jaren Lawson, second in the world rankings in 2018. And finally, the world but the man who has 8.40 to his name this year, Luvo and Yonga of South Africa. Keeping a more low profile entry. And those 15 finalists to contest the men's long jump final. Record set by Carl Lewis back in January 1984. Is it a little weird that I'm actually quite nervous? <laughs> I've got memories coming well, back. Well, what does come back in moments like this for you? I just remember the pressure, really, and like really having to see if all the training can come together and I can go out there and perform and do my coach proud. So, yeah, I'm sure they will all be feeling that too. So Kateris is asking for the crowd support. Some athletes like it, some athletes don't. He obviously does, so let's get behind him. Season's best of 7.97, but a personal best of 8.16. So let's see what he can do in the first round. It was a, it was, he brings a lot of speed down that runway. Lots and lots of speed, just rushes and doesn't really quite catch the jump. So the speed takes over the jump and he kind of dives into the board, into the pits, excuse me. A little bit ragged in the air. 
791 in the first round. Now let's have a look at uh, Tentoglu of Greece. This will be his first attempt. Here we go, season's best of 7.95. Oh, I, oh, looks like a red flag, but it look, I think that would have been a season's best. It looked like a, quite a good jump. Seems like he's got a little bit of a um, interesting upright running um, with his head slightly too forward, so very marginal foul there. So a no jump for Tentoglu with his uh, first attempt, which means it's now Radek Zuska of the Czech Republic who's up next. So I had an interesting conversation with him and um, he said he actually likes this new way of just straight finals because he um, didn't do too well the last time when there was a qualifying round, so he's enjoying this. It's pretty useful. He's got the white flag, that's the all-important white flag that you need in that first round. Um, to set you up how you want. Looks like it's pretty close to the eight meter mark. Big, quite a big penultimate, second to last um, stride. Kind of jumped onto it a little for my liking, but it was spot on the board. Ah, 7.99. It's always the worst, one centimeter below the eight meter mark. OK, and here's Xu from China. He actually won in Glasgow last weekend, and um, he jumped 8.16, as you see, to be a PB and a season's best. Looks like it could have been a red flag. Yep, it's a red flag. Hopefully we get to see where he was on the board. It looked like it could have been quite a big foul. OK, not too bad. Maybe might not have to move it back. Just make the adjustment in the running and he'll be spot on the board. I do like the way he's running, though. It yeah. feels like you can almost see it being a long jump when it's come down the runway. Absolutely. Seven seventy-seven PB, seven eighty-three personal best. So let's see if we can get close to either one of those. He looks very up for this competition. Even when you saw him coming out of the pyrotechnics, he looks really up for this. So let's see what he can do. You know, he's actually got so much talent. I can see, you know, the big jump in there, but he's a bit ragged, a little bit messy. And, he's, and you know, if you look in, the, in this replay, he dips down on that penultimate stride and look, drops his feet dramatically. And there he's losing maybe even half a meter. Especially the left foot is dragging it down. Almost like you say, he's like stressing down to the pit instead of just keeping the air time as long as possible. Yeah, so that was 7.75. So here you go with Samai from South Africa. He hasn't actually got a season's best, um, but he's got a personal best of 8.18. Brings lots of speed through that board. He looks like he likes it. He's saying he kind of pushed it in a little bit into the board, got the white flag. Looks like he's round about the eight meter mark. 
Look, you see that arm, it drives up. Nice hitch kick. Losing a little bit on the board there. At least 15 centimeters. Okay, 7.95. Definitely got more to come. And here we have Jerry and Lawson, the US champion this year. It either looks like very good on the board or potentially, oh, he's got a white flag. He looked very good. It actually looked like it could have been a no jump. He doesn't look overly happy with the jump. Around about, I would say, just over eight meters. Oh, 7.92. And he goes into fourth place. So here you go in round two for Samai from South Africa. I really like the way he attacks the board. Brings lots of speed. And that looks like a pretty good jump and he's got the white flag. That movement there with his hand and dropping down, it's just saying that he's dropped down and he kind of didn't really catch the jump, and if you see there, he didn't really get the height that he normally would like to feel that he got. Maybe if he got a little bit more on the board, maybe 10 centimeters onto the board there, but maybe five more centimeters, he'd be in the middle of the board, and the board gives you lots of height if you get it right and you catch that jump right underneath you. So that's 8.02, the season's best. And here we go in the second round for Dende. He's such a character. And as you see there, he is really focused. Really drives out well, extended first and exaggerated first three strides. Quite a simple technique. White flag, looks like a pretty decent jump, looks pretty useful. Over eight meters, but how far? That looks so much tape everywhere. He's, he's had a lot of injuries. Um, and I think he had a problem with his Achilles, and I think he had an operation last year or in the last few years. Is that right, Christian? Mm, I'm not sure about that, but sometimes, you know, all the tape doesn't mean that there's an injury, just some to prevent injuries from coming. And that was 8.02 for Dendi in round two. And here we go with Echevera, 8.19 in the first round. Really Let's see what he can do in this second round. Really interesting athlete. It looks a pretty good jump, and it's a white flag. I thought it might have been a, it might have been a no jump there. 19 years old, right? Oh, lovely jump off the board. Really extends that takeoff leg. If you look, his hip, and we've been talking about the hip. Look, extremely accurate on the board there. 0 0.3 of a centimeter. You couldn't get more accurate than that. And he goes right into the lead with 8.28, and I think he's put down a benchmark for everyone to try and chase. So here we go, back to the long jump with Lawson from the USA in the second round. First round, 7.92, and currently lying in fifth place. And he's asking for the support of the crowd. He's had, to, he's had a pretty long wait while the, the female shot putters were being introduced, so let's see if that has an effect on him. Lawson with the season best of 8.38. Doesn't look that good, actually. You know, he's got the white flag, but he's just not looking in the 8.38, 8.40 shape that we know he's in. Um, if I had to say one word, I'd say it looks flat. Absolutely, I would absolutely agree with that. He's just not carrying his height. I think his hips are slightly left behind and he's not getting his foot right underneath him. What you want is you want your hip, your foot to come underneath him, your hips to pop over the top. 7.86, no improvement on his first round attempt. And here we go with the main man from South Africa, Luvo Mnyonga. Um, very interesting name, I really like it. You've had to help me a little bit with that, haven't you, Christian? Um, yeah, I like his eyes. It's like they're glowing with self-confidence. Yeah, 
He's, a, he's really, you know, really, really happy but confident long jumper. That's exactly what I said. He's had a, no jump in the first round, so he really has to get something on the board right now. Oh, wow. Massive jump, but he was massively over the board on that one. Um, once we see the replay of the foot on the board, and this is not the position he wants to be in at all. Two no jumps, and he's put himself under tremendous pressure. He's got to have to do it all in the third round just to make sure he gets another two jumps. And here we go in round three. She of China, 7.88 in the second round. Looks like a pretty good jump, and there you go. You see the white flag. Looks around the eight meter mark, so. And I know I said it before, but I love this guy when he runs down the track. It makes me want to go down there and jump because it just looks like he's going to jump so far. And interestingly, he's actually coached by Mike Powell's old coach, who's now the national jumps coach and sprints coach in China. Randy Huntington, so very interesting. In good hands, then. And here we go. Samai, 8.02 in round two, season's best, and now this is him in round three. Oh, that was a really nice jump. Oh, has he hurt himself? He gets the white flag. Looks like he's hurt his knee a little bit. Again. Maybe pushed his foot out into the takeoff a little bit too much. Puts a lot of pressure through the knee. You have about 10 times your body weight going through the knee at takeoff, so you don't want to put it in the wrong position. Believe me, it hurts. Yeah, not, uh, not the thing you want to do, especially coming. I think he's maybe hurting it a little bit when he's coming down, like he's scratching it or something like that. And there you go. Another season's best. 8.05 in round three. So here we go, Jarian Lawson in the long jump in round three. Okay, a little bit better. Um, you know, only 7.92 so far. I think he did that in round one. Doesn't look like he's setting the world on fire with these distances, but technically good. I think he's definitely got more to come. Good on the board. Let's wait for the distance. Around about eight meters or so. Oh, there you go. He's finally got over the eight meter mark in round three, eight zero two. Right here we go, Manyonga. Two fouls, lots of pressure, but he's been here before. He can deal with this pressure. He has to really use all his experience. Oh wow, that was absolutely <laughs> under pressure. He just, sorry, I'm just smiling a little bit too much here. It just makes me happy when I see that. He's got the white flag. I think it was a Massive really jump. good board hit as well. Yeah, really nice on the board. That's gutsy, that's gutsy. That shows a lot of guts. Perfect on the board. And he just looks so relaxed, no tension. He knows that he's done this many times before. There you go, third round after two fouls, 8.33, just like that. So here we are in the fourth round of the men's long jump. The top eight get to progress. There's two more jumps, and here we are with Echeverera, Cuba, the 19-year-old. Oh, wow, what an absolutely amazing jump. He nailed that on the board, and as you see, he is extremely excited with that jump. He knows it was a good jump. He has been showing such form today. He has just come out from the get-go, and he has put down performance after performance amazingly accurate on the board. He is excited about that. I'm excited to see what it is. Let And it's a personal best, 8.36. I think it actually, maybe it takes him into the lead, but I think it might also be a stadium record. And Man Manyonga's now got, been pushed down into second after jumping 8.33 in the third round. Let's see how he can respond. Bringing lots of speed. Attacks that board really close on the board. That looked like it could have been a no jump. Let's see if he's, has he got a white flag. He's got a white flag. Let's see what this jump is. He looks like he likes it. So nice. Gets amazing height off the board. He's nearly jumping out the pit, Christian. 
Oh, look at the accuracy. Again, Perfect. perfectly on the board. Looks like it's all getting exciting in the fourth round. It's taking a little bit of time to get this result. Oh, he has oh. done it. 8.44, gone into the lead and also taken that lead back, I should say. Responded extremely well. And here's Dendi in the fifth round. Fourth round, 7.86, so fell down a little bit. Really drives out in those first three strides. Tacks the board, lovely underneath him. Wow, what an absolutely amazing jump. He nailed that, and he is, he knows he's done a good jump there. He's come over with some injury problems. You know, I read that he had said that um, he made people lose a few pairs because he left to the last round to qualify to actually get to come here. That's to the a World big World one. That's a big jump. That is a really big jump. Can it challenge Mayonga? Oh, wow. 8.42. PB. And he goes into second. Pushes the young 19-year-old Cuban down into third place. This long jump final is really hot enough. And here we go. Sammy in the fourth round. Bringing lots of speed. He's trying to get into the top four to see if he can have a six-round jump. It's a white flag. He needs to get past 8.14 to do that. Let's see if he can do it. Tax that jump. Really extends high. Dives into the sand. Could have waited a little bit more. He went to the sand rather than waited for the sand to come to him. Lost a little bit on the board, but, you know, that's okay. It's good. Let's see what this result is. It's 8.14. Oh, 7.92 is what he's jumped. Not so enough, no not enough to get the sixth, sixth attempt with the new rules. And here we go, Echevarra in the fifth round. <laughs> Seen his lead be taken, oh my goodness, it is all kicking off right now. White flag. What is going on? <laughs> I knew it was going to be exciting, I knew I was, there was a reason I was nervous the beginning of this competition. What an amazing long jump competition. I mean, come on, he attacks that board. I mean, how lovely is his takeoff? He really gets that foot down underneath him. His hips pop over the top, drives that free leg, which is the knee up off the board, gets lovely height and extension. Very slim. Oh, and he's gone back into the lead in the fifth round and a world lead, 8.46. This is a crazy competition. And Three it's... guys over 8.40 yeah, indoors. Not over yet. Oh, no. And here we go. He's just seen his lead be taken off of him. He was 8.44. Two oh. centimetres from the lead. Wow. I'm out of breath, and I'm not even doing anything. 8.44 is actually an area record as well, so... Right, fifth round, let's see what he can do. Nanyonga, come on. What can you respond with this time? Oh, wow. And he falls out of the pit, and it's a red flag. But look at that smile. He knows he's in good shape. And here we go, in the final round of the men's long jump, just four guys get to jump in this final round. It's going to be very, very exciting. With three of them having gone over 840 indoors. This is absolutely an amazing men's long jump competition. And Dende actually was the world indoor champion two years ago in Portland with eight meters and 26 centimeters. So he's already surpassed that with the 842, but he's only lining third place at the moment. That's the caliber of this competition. Look, he's asking for the crowd. He wants your support. Sixth and final round. Let's see if he can improve on that 842 PB. The attack. It's a good attempt. It looked like he got a little bit flat. It's a white flag. Kind of collapsed on the board for me. Yeah. I think he just lost a little bit of height, so let's see what he does. I don't think it's an increase, but it's, it's a really good jump, but it's not up there about 8 40, 46. Somewhere maybe 8, 8 15, 8 25. Yeah, 
I agree. It'll be interesting because his teammate Lawson, who actually came in here as world number two, and this is him right here on the runways in fourth place. So he's the only one that can actually put him in, put him out of the medals, put Dende out of the medals. So let's see what he can do. Hasn't had a great competition. Actually came in here as the number one American. Yes, yeah, so not anymore, he isn't. Well, let's see what he can do after this jump. Sixth and final round for Lawson. And it looks like a no jump for me from this angle, and yep, he's got a red flag. So unfortunately, he doesn't push Dende into the fourth place position. No, but you can't leave anything on the board when you need uh, to beat 846. So Absolutely. good attempt, leave it all out there. And look at that camaraderie between the teammates, really nice to see. Here we go, the breath, the relax, look at them. For both of these guys, gold and silver position at the moment. The 19-year-old Cuban has just really outdone himself today. And he should be proud no matter what happens, but he is, he is 8.46 at 19 years old. Unbelievable. Goes attack. No, he's, you know, you've got, like you said, Christian, you've got to attack it. He's in the lead, but you've got to give it everything. Yeah, he didn't really reach the board this time. I think he only had a toe up on it. Mid. He was stretching a little bit, and then you don't get the takeoff point that you really want. No, I don't think he did. He did, he did even hit the board, so. But he is really hyped for this. Look, he is way behind. But do you know what? He knew he was going to attack that, and he knew he, all the adrenaline. So he probably pushed it back, maybe a little bit too much. There you go, 7.86 to finish, but 8.46 in the world lead. Now, what can Manlonga do to respond to that in this last round? Yeah, it'll be a nervous wait for Echevarria. He's already got his flag. Because no matter what, he's either got a gold or a silver medal. Well, he's not smiling anymore, so he must be really focused. Yes, and he's asking for the support of the crowd. A big scream. Let all of that excitement out of you relax. Oh, and it's a red flag. You have to, like you said, Christian, you have to give it everything. I mean, that is unbelievable. 8.44 and you get the silver medal. Yeah. I am in shock. 8.42 for the bronze. I know. What a great competition. He should not be disappointed in himself. He outdone himself. He, he got a PB and a season's best and an area record. What can you do? Look at those three guys. They know they had an amazing long jump competition. And that's going to be one of the ones that go down in the record book that people will talk about yeah. for a long time. And Juan Michael, only 19 years old. 19 years old and the world champion. It's what? not It's not even, you don't even have to say it's a name for the future. It's a name for right now, but he'll be with us for a long time. Yes, he will. What a talent. Amazing the way he conducted himself in this competition. Huge congratulations. And look at that smile on Dende's face. Really nice to see, considering he was the world indoor champion two years ago. And he's happy with that bronze medal. And I think it's because that 842 jump. Absolutely. So here are the results. And younger. 8.44 and an area record for the silver medal. Looks Echa like Rivera, 8.46 world lead gold medal. And Dende for the bronze medal with 8.42. Still in gold medal position. Let's confirm some results then. An incredible final in the men's long jump. Echeverria of Cuba with a world lead 8.46 to take gold. Ahead of Manyonga, who came into the night as a favourite with 8.44. He'd been the best in the world so far this year. Marquis Dendi put 8.42 up there with a personal best to take bronze. They were way ahead of the rest of the field. An extraordinary battle which sees the Cuban come out with gold.